Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to get CPU, GPU and system monitoring data on your games like seen above here. I'll go through the download process, the installation and how to configure the tools to get this data to appear. Any questions leave them in the comments below and as ever thanks for watching. Right, let's go. Okay, for step one of this process, we're going to download MSI Afterburner, which will include the Riva tuner statistics that we need to display the uh, CPU and GPU uh, monitor data on our games. So I have the link put in the description below. If you just copy and paste it into your uh, URL bar or Google download MSI Afterburner, that's going to take you to this following page here. So just accept there. And here we have the download page for MSI Afterburner. And you're just going to simply download this piece of software. Once the download is complete, just find it a computer where that folder has been downloaded. I have it here on my desktop. As you see, it downloads the zip file. So I'm just going to right click here and go extract all and extract to the default location is fine. What that's going to do is create an unzipped, uncompressed folder on our desktop here. Okay, let's double click on the setup file. Uh, click yes. Select language, click OK, click uh, next to MSI Afterburner Setup, accept the license agreement that we all have read, of course. Um, and as you see here then in the components to install, we need to include the Reva Tuner Statistics Server as this is needed to display the uh, data on screen. So everything here default is fine, next. Uh, the default location is fine, next, and install. So this will firstly install the MSI Afterburner application and that should complete fairly quickly as you see here and a shortcut should appear on your desktop because within the default options we we allowed that and next up after that then will be the Riva tuner statistics server to be installed click ok to that click next accept again next the default location is fine and install and again this will be a fairly quick process once that's done then both applications are installed uh, as required right to run this you need to run msi afterburner that will automatically run the Riva statistics, the Riva tuner statistics um, application. So if we double click on MSI Afterburner, as you see here, the shortcut has appeared on our desktop. Uh, click yes. Now MSI Afterburner is a GPU overclocking utility. I won't go into uh, that in this video, but I wouldn't mess with any of the options in here unless you know what you're doing. Uh, to do what we want to do, when you have this uh, dialog box open, you want to go over here to the left-hand side and scroll down until you see the settings cog, and we're going to hit uh, in there. From here then, we'll have the MSI Afterburner properties. Uh, and you'll see there's a number of options here on top. The one we want to look at is our uh, monitoring. So within monitoring, this is where we set what values what data we want to display in game so for example um you can see along here gpu temperature gpu usage fb usage vid usage you don't need to know what all of them are but if you scroll through here you'll find what you're most interested in and get it to display any value along your left hand side here where you're, you have in osd appear alongside it that means it's going to appear on your screen so for the ones you want done that you have a ticked show in on-screen display down below so that's gpu temperature okay it's the gpu usage we'll throw that on uh i'll have a look at the core clock throw that on and again i'm just going to it once the dark tick is there i am checking below to make sure this show an on-screen display and the in osd is appearing under the properties uh, column so keep scrolling down here to see what you want i might want to have a look at my cpu temperature and you'll see here you can individually look at individual cores in your cpu if you just go to the value that doesn't have a number beside it it gives you the overall uh, core temperature in this example uh, and the same with usage i could look at the individual cores cpu one two three four five etc but if i just want to look at the overall usage i'd go down to where there's no number beside it that means the overall cpu uh, again it's dark ticked here which is fine and then show on screen display here uh, so keep scrolling down uh, CPU clock, might want to have a look at that one, show an on-screen display. Uh, what else might I like here? RAM usage, yeah, we'll have a look at RAM usage, why not? And I might have a look at my frame rate. Uh, so again, this one is, is, as we see, there's no dark check beside it. So for the frame rate, we need to check up here first. And that gives us the option down below here to check show an on-screen display. So this, this is all there is to it. Once you uh, go through here, find the options you want, as I said, and make sure that, that for every option you click here, you click show an on-screen display down below. Once you're finished with all this, you uh, click apply and click OK. Just before you close MSI, just to be aware, if you hit the X here, it'll completely close it and this won't work. 
So just make sure you minimize it and that'll make it disappear uh, and it'll be down, you'll see it down here as a little airplane in your kind of bottom right hand corner here um, where you show your running uh, processes and applications that are running in the background. You see MSI Afterburner is there and Reva Tuner Statistics is there. They both need to be running down here for uh, this to work. And again, if you need to get into any of these options, you can again, uh, Back down to your right-hand corner where you show your background apps, you can just click on uh, the option once. It'll bring back up the MSI. Back in, sorry, wrong one. Back into settings. And again, you can go back over to monitoring and make whatever changes you want. And again, minimize when you're finished. Um, now, you can set this to your MSI Afterburner to start on every, to boot up on uh, every system start so that it's always running. Or before you're starting a game, you can just go to your search bar, type in MSI and kick it off that way. Uh, so within inside settings here and under general, you'll get the option to start with Windows and also start minimize. You can also go into the Reva Tuner Statistics uh, icon here, which is this blue screen. And that'll bring up some uh, options here. Just one or two things to note here. Well, first thing is the application detection level. This doesn't work perfectly with every game. And if you find that some games, it's not picking it up right, you can uh, increase the application detection level here from medium to high. So in other words, it's more likely to uh, recognize the game and recognize that you're playing and display the statistics. On the bottom right here, you see where it says 60. That's kind of a gauge for the size of the text that, uh, of how it's going to display in a game. If you want to decrease the size of the data while you're playing, little slider here called on-screen display zoom, you can increase the size of that and that'll in turn uh, increase the size of those uh, statistics on the game screen while you're playing. Okay, as you see, we're in game here and um, we have the statistics displayed in the top left hand corner. Uh, what we chose is there. We have our GPU and CPU temperatures, usage and clock speeds along with a RAM and frames per second. Uh, just be aware, some, some games this won't work perfect. Uh, sometimes you might have to Windows key out of the game and go back in to get it to display. And don't forget the application detection level that we should showed earlier to make that, increase that if, if you find it's not working on a specific game. Any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As ever, thanks for watching. And if this content was in any way useful, please like and subscribe as it helps the channel a lot.